Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of the Connect series. Uh, this is a really cool episode that I'm excited about. We have Evan Ross, he's an electrical engineering student at Texas A&M, and he's combined several different TI technologies for his senior capstone project um, in a really, really cool application. Thanks a lot for joining us, Evan. No problem. Happy to be here. Awesome. So I think maybe right from the beginning, can you just tell us um, a little bit about what your project is and then we'll kind of watch a demo as you go through it as well. Sure. So the project is called the MM Wave Visual Substitution System. And the idea was to use this millimeter wave radar sensing technology to create like a navigational aid for the visually impaired and the blind. So the way we did it was we have a sensor like mounted to the user's chest and that this would then connect to the CC2652, um, I guess, microprocessor chip, which would be Bluetooth connected to feedback peripherals on the wrists and ankles that were modeled after like fitness or smartwatches. And that would provide like vibration based on how close something is to you relative to like that part of your body. So if it's on your left arm, how close something is to you in like the top left quadrant of your body. Okay, got it. Yeah, and I already hear, you know, several exciting technologies. The the millimeter wave you mentioned, the 2652RB uh, device where you use the Bluetooth. Uh, that's a device we're, we're very familiar with here. Um, so yeah, th thanks for that description. Uh, what made you actually select that as your capstone project? Yeah, so the big thing me and my team wanted was something that could... Um, like help us grow in the areas that we were hoping to get jobs into. So a big one was embedded systems development in terms of software mainly. Um, also power systems and uh, analog like PCB design and layout. And so we saw a lot of opportunity to do those kinds of things on this project. And we were also excited to work with TI. A few of our members had interned previously here and wanted a chance to come back and kind of work on a project over the school year with you all. Awesome. Good, good. Yeah, and I know um, that a uh, friend and coworker of mine, Eric, kind of helped as a, as a TI mentor here. Can you tell me a little bit about how TI was involved in, in helping with this project? Sure. So, I mean, the main way is obviously they presented the project to us. Eric gave us a problem statement and a rough solution of how he wanted um, us to integrate the technology in terms of the sensor and the microcontrollers. And then you kind of just gave us free reign to explore any solution we wanted. A lot of our implementation questions, um, which kind of frustratingly for us, he said it's, it's just up to us, which of course is a senior design project. That's the way it should be and understood that. But um, he gave us the technology, he gave us the problem and the basic solution just let us run wild with it. Got it, got it. Yeah, and you said that, uh... You know, some of the implementation was left up to you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there was a lot of work on that side. Was it difficult mm -hmm. combining the millimeter wave and the Bluetooth technologies into this application? Yeah, it was tricky. Uh, Eric had warned us that the Bluetooth um, microcontroller doesn't have a lot of memory on it, and the MM Wave sensor would be trying to send just massive amounts of data uh, like every second. And so a big part of our integration effort was trying to scale back the amount of data we were sending but once we got that it was quite nice we just got points of where stuff was and we could handle all of it so it was pretty pretty good 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 glad to hear it and, and so what do you see um maybe in the future the the practical application uh, of a project like this um well if something like this was to be continually developed obviously ours is just a proof of concept since we're four students um, but it would provide a navigation aid for blind people that wouldn't be quite as obtrusive or noticeable as say the white cane or a lot of like the other electronic systems where it's a head mounted sensor or something in the hand. So it would, it would give them a sense of being more um, discreet and be usable. Alternatively, we'd seen some industrial applications since we noticed the sensor was very good at motion sensing of mounting it in say a warehouse and using it to control um, the flow of like machinery or stuff there. Since you couldn't use wires in something like this that would cross paths. Got it, yeah, makes sense. Well, it's very cool. Uh, I love seeing these type of applications of the, of the TI technology. 
uh, being used and you have a, a very cool use case, very impressive project. So thanks a lot for joining us today and telling us all about it, Evan. No problem. Thanks for having me. Awesome. And as always, thank you guys for joining us for this episode of the Connect Series. There's always more planned. We have more great sessions, more great guests, more great topics coming up. So don't forget to tune in. Thanks, everybody.